uh, I would major in STEM and minor even in liberal arts because in the future you still have to think well, read well, write well, in spite of chat GPT and so on. So <laughs> maybe chat GPT can give you a simple answer, but then you have to make it more, more sophisticated than a simple one and so on. So whether you major in one and you minor or the other one or, or vice versa, I think you have to, on one side, to have a knowledge of technology, and on the other side, having also broad and flexible mind and critical and analytical thinking that allows you to reinvent yourself. And you'll have to reinvent yourself, you'll have to retain yourself, you'll have to study more, and you have to really learn more in a way of being nimble and be able to be in that top 10% of distribution of skills. They're gonna still benefit because for a long time, AI actually is gonna make uh, those that are having more skills, more education, and more human capital, even more efficient, even more productive, even more successful. So, so that, that's, that's, uh, that's what you do. Eventually, you know, the people who are in AI believe that uh, our species sapiens may even become obsolete and we'll have to merge the human with the machine to become a super intelligent the machine and will be some transhuman or more feminine deus. I don't know, they may or may not happen, but that's, that's for, you know, 50 to 100 years from now, but that may be in the lifetime of people are born today. But uh, we'll get there when we'll get there. For the time being, be nimble, study hard, work hard, uh, retrain yourself, and be able to survive and thrive in a world that's gonna remain still hyper-digitalized like never before.